Welcome friends. Today is Thursday, July 9th, 2015. This is Denise. Let's get fit. Hi guys. This is going to be part two of, I guess, a three-part series from the haul that I did from Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and CVS. Today's video will be about the DIY projects that I did with regards to weight loss. Um, they're pretty simple. I think even if you didn't have a crafty bone in your body, you could probably do this. So I will show you. Um, the second thing that I, I'll show you two different things that I made. And the second one is very personal and it took me a couple of days to actually get the courage up to put this on a video. So please be nice. Let's not be mean. Thank you. First off, let me explain that when I purchased these from Hobby Lobby, the refill pages, I didn't really look at the package to realize that you got more than one kind of sheet protector in there. And I really only wanted the six by four, the side by sides. So um, I had to go back and purchase some more packages. And I did so um, knowing that, okay, I got this little three ring binder. It's a um, chipboard and it's just brown. And my daughter is 11 and she likes crafty projects. So we're gonna just use our stamps and markers and make a cute, um, album, maybe it'll be what happened during the summer or something. Um, so the, Kylie will be using that. So it's not going to be wasted and all the extra sheets won't be wasted either. This is the first project that I made. It's not a vision board, which they tell you to make. This is my vision board. I wanted to see exactly what I needed to lose and exactly what I did lose so that I can keep track. Now I'm gonna have this in my closet where it's just for me to see. I don't think people coming into my house really need to know exactly how much weight I needed to lose. Um, and this is something I'm gonna see every morning because obviously I go in there to get my clothes to get dressed. So it'll just remind me to have a good day and um, make good choices. And so all I did was take those, these here, these, um. I don't know, stickers, they were, they're stickers, and I put them on this board, it's like a, a chalkboard, and you can get that, like, this was from Joann's, they have all different sizes, you can kind of do your own thing, and then I used that chalk marker to write the need to lose and lost, and then I just stuck on, I counted out, mm -hmm. sadly, I counted out how many uh, gemstones I needed to, to represent the weight that I was going to need to lose, and so I put them on the top, and then I put, you know, and then as I'm losing, I'm going to move them from the top to the bottom. So, so far I've lost 26.4 pounds. So therefore I have 26 gems on the bottom and it, boy, it looks pretty top heavy at the moment, but at the end of my journey, I'm going to be bottom heavy. <laughs> well, no, I won't. I'll actually be very thin, but I, I have every intention of getting there. And this will just be my reminder each day to make good choices. Okay, guys, here's the second part. This is the personal part that I was kind of scared to show you guys. Um, sorry that I have to film it this way. I cannot figure out how not for it to be upside down the other way. Anyway, um, it took me a couple of days to get the courage up to show you this. It's not something I would ever show my friends. It's it's just, you know, done for my reference, really. But I guess now your guys' reference, too. Um, I just took this album, put the sticker on, wrote in my own handwriting, which... I'm not too thrilled with, but anyway, my weight loss journey. And then, here we go. Woo! You can see the very first week I started Weight Watchers, I took this picture. I did it in my brown panties. I never thought it was ever going to be shared with anybody else. I thought it was just for my personal reference. And I thought, oh, this, I can see myself in all my glory. And, um, Boy, I wish I would have made a better decision on that because now I'm going to use that picture forever. But anyway, uh, this was week one. I wore some jeans and a shirt. Took the front view. Took a side view. And then week two came. I'm always going to have this picture on the left because I want to know where I was and where I am. And it's easier to see instead of flipping back and forth. So I'm going. To, that's why I regret that picture. But anyway... Um, so this is, I wore some, the same jeans, different shirt. There's the side by side of that. Week three, same jeans, different shirt. 
I never worried about what was in the background. I really should have paid more attention. My husband's loveliness is in there. Um, not the neatest man, but love him dearly. Anyway, there's week three. Again, same jeans. Week four. Same jeans. Week five, four again, side by side. And then here I determined, like, if I'm going to wear the same outfit on the left, I should have the same outfit on the right. So I started wearing yoga pants and a sleeveless shirt. These are stretchy, so throughout my journey, I should be able to put them on and see the difference in this way. I can always, you know, have the same reference point. So I started wearing those in week five. Here's the side by side. Here's week six. You can see I'm getting some color from all my walking. I do put sunscreen on every day, but I'm a very fair person, so don't yell at me about that. I actually do put sunscreen on. And here's week seven. Starting to see it. I can see it more. Here's the side by side. Here's week eight. Here's week nine. This is the last one I have in the book. Um, I do have a week 10 pictures, but I haven't taken them yet. I'm taking them into CVS, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I don't have um, them do it in the behind so they can love, you know, make comments or look at me or giggle. I, my feelings would be very hurt. So I just go to the kiosk. You can download their app on your phone, and then you can just transfer them yourself and pick the pictures that you want. You can edit them if you want. I did not edit any of these pictures. I want to see me in my true state. But anyway, um, and so it just co costs a couple of cents per picture, so it's not bad at all. And I do plan on going back and, um, you know, each week and getting the next one done so that I can, uh, let's get off that picture, huh? Anyway, <laughs> um, and just go back each week and put it in there so I can continually see my progress. This, uh, if you like this, please share it. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Leave me a comment. I, I love hearing from you guys. I love corresponding back and forth. It's a great community, and I'm finding some great friends. If you have any questions with regard to this, it's really simple, but I know I have friends who hear the word craft and run the other way. Um, these are really simple things, but just because I say that doesn't mean it's simple to you. So if you have any questions, any kind of questions that I can help you with, please leave me a comment or send me a message. You can send me a message directly. You don't have to put it on the board if you don't want to. And uh, I can deal back directly with you that way. Um, and I'll help you any way I can. I get so much encouragement from people, and that's great. And I go on the videos, and it just inspires me to do better. So I'm just trying to give back in my way. Um, to all the help that I've get, been given so far and uh, if there's anything I can do with regards to Weight Watchers, any questions, any point values or whatever you need to help with uh, or anything that I've showed you in this video, please let me know. Uh, part 3 will be coming up soon. It is actually just home decor which really doesn't have anything to do with weight loss other than when I'm doing this weight loss I'm feeling like I'm in a better mood and when I'm in a better mood I want my world around me to be a better place. So. It prompts me to want to decorate a little bit more and, and take more care into my house and home. Uh, so I'll show you where I put those things. They're not going to be complete room tours. I'm not that person. But I'll show you where I put those items that I bought that I showed you on the first video. That should be coming up shortly. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. And let's remember, don't be mean. I'll delete your comment. If you're too mean, I'll block you. I only want people who... Are, are sharing in this journey and can give encouragement and suggestions. That's who I want as my friends. Thank you. Have a great day.